So welcome to another episode of Sawdust. Today, Riley and Doug are going to be installing a custom barn door over at our Narragansett Pier project. But first, we're going to go back to the Helical Pier project where Kelly Taylor has got all the interior light fixtures designed with custom blown glass. I'm Jeff Sweener of Sweener Builders. We have been building on the coast for over 30 years. Our team of craftsmen and design professionals are committed to delivering the best practices in custom home building. Our end product has to be beautiful, highly efficient, and use advanced building science to stand up to harsh coastal conditions. On Sawdust, we bring you behind the scenes to give you an inside look of how we do it. So we're working with Ron DeMauro Architects and Kelly Taylor Interior Design. Now that we're on the inside, let's see what Kelly's got for us. And she's got something really special planned for this foyer. The staircase basically wraps around. She's working with a local glass blower to design a chandelier with nine separate teardrop shaped pendants that will light up this foyer. So we're going to go check them out in their studio. All right, so let's take a trip up to Providence. I've practiced interior design for more than 20 years and you know over almost 17 years I've had this business Kelly Taylor interior design. We do a lot of coastal homes. Um, we do them differently and we're known for that and so this project was particularly exciting because we had a very coastal shell um, that Ron DeMauro and Tyler put together and we were able to come in and do a very modern interior. When we work on an interior, there are so many elements. Everything from architectural materials, to appliances, to plumbing fixtures, to fireplaces and stone and staircases, and lighting. Lighting is one of the most important pieces in that puzzle, and we love creating drama with light. This is a 3D visualization tool that was called SketchUp that we use to communicate with the architect, the glass blower, the electrician, the client to make sure that we're, we're getting it exactly right. You can see from the ceiling of the second floor all the way to the bottom of the stairs you can see how that chandelier is gonna hang and how each one of the nine teardrops is gonna fall. So one of the ways that we can create drama with light is by the different materials that we use. And one of the artists that we really enjoy working with is Tracy Glover because she blows her own glass. It's a very, you know, it's got a very sensual nature to it already. And then with colors and textures and all the different pieces that we can put together to customize something really special for a client, not only do we get a piece of art, but it's lit. And that's really beautiful. So the feature of these teardrops that we're making for Kelly is that the color doesn't go all the way to the top, just part of the way up. I'm Tracy Glover. For many years, I just did glass objects, sculptures, um, tableware. And then I got the idea to incorporate some of my pieces into lighting and uh, feature chandeliers for stairwells, for example, like we're doing for Kelly. So for this one, we're doing the stairwell chandelier. It's going to be nine pieces of uh, clear glass, nine teardrop shapes. The challenges of designing something for a stairway is that 
As you walk up and down the stairs, you have a different vantage point of looking at this. So you want it to be beautiful everywhere you look. And the view is going to change. So the way it looks uh, when you're below it, when you're beside it, and when you're looking down on it. All of those angles have to be considered the whole 360 degrees all the way up. We introduced Tracy Glover's glass lighting to our clients in this uh, project and she was immediately in love. So what started as maybe one chandelier grew to be many other pieces. In fact, I often tell Tracy this house is going to be a, um, a Tracy Glover like show house. We've got master bathroom, kitchen, dining area, and the piece de resistance is the chandelier that's hanging in the stairway. This piece is not only gonna create dramatic light, it's gonna create just a lot of wow drama factor. So it's pretty exciting, I think, to think about just even entering into this house, which looks like it belongs on the coast of Rhode Island. And the surprise is inside, when you see all of the different modern elements that you've probably not seen too many times in a beach house. So in a matter of weeks, we are gonna be on site with Ben, the electrician, who is going to help us uh, put this fixture up and uh, we might make him crazy in the process, but that will be on a future episode of Sawdust. You guys are familiar with this through the floating shelves recently in the, in the living room. Uh, I'm really excited to be here again because I'm working on a project that I designed with the client about a year ago. Some custom barn doors are going to put them up here to separate this living space here from the dining room. The customer had picked out a uh, process to finish these doors. It's called serucing and it's really cool. I didn't know anything about it until the customer brought it to my attention. So we have Scott here. So what serucing really is, is it's a five, believe it or not, it's a 500 year old decorative process that was mainly incorporated in lots of chateaus for upper society in Europe. We had doors fabricated by Baird Brothers and they did a fabulous job. If you look closely, you can see the grain is raised, the denser wood is raised, and the softer wood has kind of been, you know, wire brushed out, as Scott was explaining. So in the box here, this is the barn door hardware. This is a product made by Emtech. They do a lot of really nice high-end door hardware. It's a stainless steel product, and it is a uh, Soft open, soft close. This is the decorative wheel, spoked wheel that you're gonna see. Uh, it's a really nice smooth bearing system in here. And you're gonna see this sit on top of that track. So we've already got our level line where we want the height of our track. Now we're gonna use the track as a template to mark our holes so we can pre-drill and mount the track. All right, and I'm gonna hold it right here on the center line. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. I look pretty good at that. Yeah. The benefit of being the builder of the house is that we know that there's a solid laminated beam that goes from this wall to that wall as a header. So I don't have to worry about hitting studs here. So I've got my marks up on the wall and I'm ready to pre-drill my holes for the hanger bolts. We'll be able to hang the track. Antec is these really nifty spacers. This is to uh, keep the sheetrock from compressing when we mount those brackets that support the, the bar. Uh, we don't want to see the sheetrock get crushed. So Emtech created these, engineered these uh, dense, dense washers, the thickness of the sheetrock. And Riley's just tucking them up now and then we get to hang, hang the bar.
not if you're just gonna take a second and double check, triple check, I should say, that we're perfectly level using a laser. We've got 52 inches there. Two inches there. Right, now that we got the track all mounted to the wall, we got the door out here and we're set to mount our wheels onto the door. So we just flipped the door over. We've got the holes drilled a little more than halfway through from the front side. So I'm gonna measure and mark my holes for the back side and meet the hole in the middle. The reason we do that is we don't want the bit to blow out the fibers of the wood on the back side. So we have the doors helping out, and uh, Riley and I are going to take the time to put these little uh, these guides in to keep the door aligned and in place, so it's not banging against the wall. And when the doors are closed, they stay they stay aligned together. Getting a little wax on the screws really helps the screw go through the uh, through the wood and keeps the screw from snapping. This is pretty nice. What do you think? Looks good. The doors are up. They operate nicely. And they really look magnificent in this house. They are absolutely gorgeous doors. Beautiful. So thanks for watching another episode of Sawdust. If you like what you see, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and tell all your friends. In response to all the comments that we've gotten, we've been paying attention. So next week, we're gonna show you a special episode where we're gonna answer a bunch of your questions. So until then, we'll see you next time.